question for you. Mm. What, if any, would be the main difference between homeschool on the boat and homeschool on land? Well, if you finish your school, you get to do the sail job. <laughs> <laughs> I once heard that 90% of homeschool is done around the dining room table regardless of the space that has been created for homeschool. Yeah. Well, when you're on a boat, it's 100% of the time. <laughs> well, we do it outside sometimes. That's but... true. Um, but a very versatile area. Mm. As mum the teacher gets into it. What about you guys? Main differences Homeschool on the water versus homeschool on land? Um, bad, days, bad days, bad days you do school work, not bad days you don't. Yeah, whereas on land we did it. Yeah, it was most day. days Dad was at work. Yeah. What do you mean by bad days? Rainy. Oh, like weather. Weather. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy, yeah. is that you? Is that me? So there's probably a little more inconsistency. Or you can flip it on its head and say that there's um, solid blocks. There's blocks of learning and blocks of playing, but the playing is also, there's lots of learning mm. opportunities in the playing moments. Absolutely. Heads up, um, in this episode it's a lot of boat work, so if you're not interested then maybe wait till the next one. So today, we're going to fix our leech cord. It broke a few days back. We noticed it had broken between the second and the third batten. Um, we're going to try and replace the bit that's broken and sort of put a couple of knots in. I think it'll work. And if it doesn't, well, we'll go from there. But we're in a pretty beautiful location. Ma. Yeah. We're anchored on the west coast of New Caledonia in Bay Ma, a great solid anchorage for boat work. Here's our two helpers for the leech cord. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to get busy? Yeah. I think we're going to pull that out. This way? Yeah. So, what is a leech cord anyway? Let's consult Penny Whiting's Illustrated Guide to Sailing. Hmm, the leech cord is a line running down inside the leech of the sail and with which the leech can be tightened, enabling an even curve to be achieved on the leech from the head to the clue. This diagram shows where the leech cord runs down the back edge of the sail. Our leech cord had broken at the second batten and below and above where it connects, it had pulled back through into the pocket that it sits in. So now I've got the pro on the, the leech cord job. Well, that was a fish. Oh. What? Have you got a hook up here? Yeah. No, that's not, but it was there already. No, no, as in, yes, I've started to go from the bottom up, right? But that's not why it was jammed. This is our first button, but it's snapped between our second and third button. But even here on the first button, it's starting, it's starting to, to wear. Down. Yeah. So. Um, chafe. It must chafe on the, the end of the button. On the end of the button. This is a moment of truth. Our <laughs> forearms are burning. We'll just... Our fingers. Yeah, this is a moment of truth. And now the wind's picked up. <laughs> we've just thread, well, I'm going to say, a couple of metres. And now we've got to try and get it out this, this tiny last hole. bit. I can't even see where it's... I've got to come through. Oh, I, I can feel it! Can you? I can feel it! Oh, I just can't push it up anymore. Do you want me to hold it here while you pull it back? Oh. Did you lose it? Oh, I've still got it just. Meanwhile, 
Mowgli decided that uh, he'd go for the bird's eye view today. It's all right, Mum. He's got gloves on. What do you think? Look, there's our threading wire. All right, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Just um, put the sail down. Let's see if you can pull it down. Oh goodness, that's stuck. That's a bit awkward. Oh, so much tension on it, I don't know why. How was that mate? Success! safety bucket. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, what is that through? Yeah. Okay. Now what? Now I don't know yet. Ha! We've got eight lines through. So I'm having a bit of a win with the leech cord. The breeze has started to pick up a bit, but it's a magic day. We've got a mouse through right the way up, which is some old kite line. And Shone's just about to stitch the old leech cord, the broken one. Onto mouse. Tight while you pull the. It's pulling it at a funny angle. Hang on, yeah, keep going. No, that's all right. I'm just trying to keep this down at the same time. Okay, keep going. Is it stuck? Uh, so, current situation. Oh, we've loosened the leech cloth right down at the foot of the sail. But I can't seem to get it through. I'm at the first reef at the moment. Got a bit through, but I should be able to get more. Looks like it's... Whoa! Tighten the main sheet. Safety first. It's the same thing. Elmented. <laughs> we managed to get the leech cord out at batten one, so I won't show you that. But here at batten two, we had to, they come out of their pocket over the over each batten, so like this. So we had to pull this out until we got the end of the, the snapped end out here. Once we got the snapped end out here, we put a mousing line on it and tried to re-thread it back up here to come out at the pocket here over batten two. We did that, we got the mousing line out at batten two and then we put a halyard on it and tried to pull up using the halyard to pull up all the excess cord that was down here at the foot of the sail with the halyard assisting us. We're not sure why that didn't work, whether it was the angle or um, the tension that was on the leech cord down the end, but it would not thread through. So after much frustration, we tried something else. Boat jobs are never as simple as you first think. Hey. I think you need to get back in the boom bag. 
and try and do it from one end to the other. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let me have a go at it. Give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Because that way it didn't work. No, it didn't. Okay. Yeah, different approach. Different approach. Let's do this. Hey friends. <laughs> what did we do the second time? Okay, so pulling it up with the halyard didn't work. So our second attempt was literally to pull the whole thing from the bottom through each batten area until we got up to the second batten. We've got the foot of the sail here where we had excess leech cord. We were trying to get that up through where the leech cord goes up to where the second batten is. This is where we needed the excess. The thing is, this was all getting bunched up and we had to smooth it out right from the foot of the sail, bringing this excess up one little bit at a time, bringing it out into a loop every time we got to a new batten and then threading it through the next section and bringing it out and it would take it up from the bottom here. When we eventually got it up here to the second batten, we pulled it through and we finally had the end that we needed so that we could stitch it to the other broken end. Uh, we thought we'd be do done this in a couple of hours, but it's now 10 past one. What time did we start? 10, 9.30? Yeah. Anyway, we found the other busted end where it has broken. Finally managed to pull that through. I don't know why, it's not attached to anything, but it was so hard to get it through. through. And then we also have another bit here. Well, I think these have been wearing on where the battens are because they come out right here where the battens um, are and then they go back into another pocket into the sail. And it's exactly where it would wear on the batten. Woo! We have two ends. Uh, that's where it broke the mangrove. Ah, and we both got them out. Look, it's right here near a batten. Second batten. Second batten. Let's stitch these together and then go from there. Yes? Yes. So here's the final product where it's been stitched together and taped over. So it was wearing on the end of this batten and obviously wore through. So we're about to hoist the main. We'll see how it goes. We're going, huh? my hair and it's getting quite long and very annoying so I'm gonna get Chris to give it a trim oh, it's so long Shona I know so long got my moustache for the stylist and your cut lip, cut lip. <laughs> I 
from start there. Don't no move, but I'm, I'm nailing it. I hope it's straight and not a bobby deal cut. Looking straight, Tid? Mmm, kind of. Oh, I might expect a t-shirt. Dad work. Oh, I lost it. Oh. <laughs> Guess I better be happy with my haircut. Nah, nah, it's okay. Look at all this hair. It's a dad trim. <laughs> How does it look, Pippi? Is it a lot shorter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Lost the scissors. Wowee! Look, it's Bastille Day here in New Caledonia because they celebrate French stuff. And we've got a stunning sunset and a fire on the beach and a funny haircut and moustache. Swoon me, darling, swoon me. I am swooning. <laughs> and we are happy, happy campers. Oh, we're not campers, we're sailors. We're happy, happy sailors. Who put a green thing on? <laughs> Next episode, we see sharks, shipwrecks, and leave the kids on a deserted island. And then we're anchored off this deserted island. We're going to drop you in there, and you've got to make your own shelter. So join us next time for some more family adventures. Thanks for watching our adventures. See you next time. Messy battle. Bye bye. bye. Everybody, give us a big yeah. thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs>